I also wanted to know about breastfeeding and your diet. Like, how do you think the carnivore diet influenced your milk supply? Because I just hear so many women where their milk just dries up after the first few weeks. And I often wonder if that's diet related. And so I was wondering if you noticed any things with your diet and how that affected your milk supply with breastfeeding. Um, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I just think that, you know, doing the prenatal nutrition, you know, for several years is so important. And then doing, I do think maybe it's an electrolyte problem. I mean, there's so much stress around the birth and stuff. So, and breastfeeding, just like, I mean, I feel like it'd probably be in that, you know, thing, there's certain sets of things in your body that are, that not, that have to happen. Like your heart has to beat, you know, you have to go to the bathroom, you have to um, digest your food. These are the things that, but then there's a lot of things that don't have to happen, like um, sex drive or your hair growing, or, uh, you know, those are not survival things. And I would assume breastfeeding is not it's not a survival thing for the woman. Maybe it, of course it is for the child, but so maybe that's something that your body just cuts off because it's like, we're so stressed. So we're not going to, we're not going to support that function right now. And that, cause that's what your body does. That's why your hair falls out or your skin messes up or, um, because you have a priority of just keeping yourself alive. And so non-essential functions will just stop. And that's why you, maybe you feel like you have no sex drive or something like that. Um, but for me, I didn't have any problem whatsoever. I had, your milk doesn't come in right away. So I, it took about five days, um, but you, you do get this colostrum. You really all can't even see it. So you almost have to just believe in it. It's almost like a fairy tale or something. So uh, I, they said, oh, he's getting that. Okay, whatever. I believe you, I guess. I don't see anything. <laughs> a sudden it comes in and you're like, whoa. Um, but they, they gave me the, the pump and they brought it to the room and, and they, they were the one lady nurse was very, very, uh, pushy. She was like, you need to pump now. And I was exhausted. And I was like, Oh, leave me alone. Oh. And she, then she said, you need to pump right now. It was like the middle of the night. And I was like, what are you talking about? Leave me alone. And, but she was very pushy and she, she brought the thing. It was like a rolling pump and, um, it had like, per, you could personalize the, you know, the, the stuff you put on yourself, like, like those were disposable, but the pump thing was, um, rolled around on a, on a stand. And she's, she was like helping me and she was like, pump, pump, pump. You have to pump. So I was like, okay, whatever. Mm -hmm. and I started, that was the key, you know, doing that right away. Mm -hmm. And then I was just like drowning in milk after a few days. It was crazy. I was just like, I mean, it was insane. And, and I do think electrolytes are a big thing though. I think some people are so dehydrated. I mean, I had to drink, I drank so much water. I couldn't, I had cases of water sitting around my chair, like my rocking chairs and everything, because you have to have so much water to get that milk going and everything. So I think it's probably a case of dehydration. People are just out to lunch. They don't think about that. And I was, of course, salting my food and eating really good. My husband was cooking for me and I was eating like goat yogurt and um, cause that was like an easy like thing you can eat out of the container, you know, and I was eating a lot of scrambled eggs. And so, yeah, I think people just, maybe they're just dehydrated and also their nutrition is, is poor. Cause I mean, you're so tired. So they, again, you're, you could be eating pizza and, you know, chicken nuggets and, you know, if your body's not getting good nutrition, maybe it just dries up. So mm -hmm. And of course, with the stress factor too. Yeah, that makes sense. When I did some research, I read that you need to eat enough fat because your body needs fat to be able to produce proper breast milk. And then also you need enough fat on your body 
Um, and I guess that's also in case you're not eating enough fat. So I think with the carnivore diet, if you're eating enough fat, that should also help quite a lot.